Your summary sheets give you sales and production breakdown according to different variables. So let's take a look at those. What we're looking at here is our customer sales sheet. So this is basically sales broken down by customer primarily, but you can see we've also got the crop in here and then the sizing as well. So it's a very thorough breakdown that looks at where you're generating revenue for each customer broken down by crop. Now, the nice thing about these summaries is you can um, delineate the time period that you want to look at it for. So this is set for the whole year from January 1st to December 31st. But if I'm not at that point in the year or I just want to know a subset like to about today's date, you can see that adjusts. So it's a very quick way to, to look at your full production to date. Um, you can forecast with it if you've got uh, your numbers in there already for future weeks and if you just want a specific time period. So let's turn that back. Again, we just need to double click on the dates to get that menu uh, uh, calendar to pop up. The customer type sales summary sheet breaks uh, things down by the type of customer. And so we have some examples here by grocers, home delivery, market, and restaurant. So this is a really useful summary to understand who is buying most of your product. And you can see here that the farmer's market and restaurants are very important clients for us. So if we stop doing farmer's markets, you know, our revenue would be all cut almost in half. So this is really, really crucial. We can see home delivery isn't a, isn't a big aspect, and we might make decisions about whether to drop that or increase that. And then same thing with grocers. So just a good, a good way to look at things overall based on the type of customer that you are delivering to. Now, this one breaks things down by product. So if I want to know my arugula sales, it's broken down by the different units here, and then I have a total here at the end. So this is very, very useful in terms of understanding which of my products are really selling well. And we can see here that sunflower and uh, speckled pea are two important products for us. The last one is by crop production. So this is what you are producing. And this one is important um, and for many reasons. One is once you've got your um, uh, actual values, you can compare whether your expected yield is the same as your actual yield. And we make the change up here. So when, when I'm doing my expected totals here, this here, maybe you can kind of get in here. It really is just drawing from, um, it's drawing from our harvest recording, but it's drawing from the orders. So it's basically, this is what we sowed, uh, this is what we're expecting to package, and then you have to actually enter that data to get the actual. And because we haven't done that, you'll see if I go to actual, these things all disappear because I haven't entered any of that data here. Uh, the other thing you can do is break this down by date. So again, if I just want to look at this for a certain segment of the year, uh, I can do that there. You'll notice that we don't see our mixes in here. Again, this is because mixes are not crops. They are blends of crops. And so that won't show up here in terms of yield or production because you don't produce mixes in the same way. So those are the four types of summary sheets that you can work with. And from those, you can get almost any information you need to make good business decisions, what products to carry more of, to drop, things like that. So hopefully you find that useful in real time, being able to understand what your sales and production looks like.